In this video, I'm going to teach you how to connect an Xbox controller to Windows 7. It's a very quick and easy process, so make sure to follow along. Connecting and using your Xbox controller to Windows 7 is a very straightforward process. However, you might encounter problems because of the necessity of certain drivers that Microsoft does not distribute anymore. So basically, when they made people switch over to Windows 10, they removed a lot of the driver support for many things, including Xbox One controllers. So if you try to connect your Xbox One controller to Windows 7, either through a cable or wirelessly, you might be able to see it detected. However, you are going to struggle with the drivers. And because they removed the official download links for these drivers, in this video, I'm going to show you how to find them. And by downloading these drivers and running them, you will be good to go to set up your Xbox One controller. So they are in a very hidden place. You will have to go to this specific Reddit post manually download Xbox One controller driver for Win7. So look for this on Google and you will be able to click this first link. Now, once you are on this page, you will be able to scroll down and this user has compiled all of the drivers here. So they are available on Mediafire. You have 32 bit and 64 bit. So either go to that Reddit link or just visit these Mediafire websites and you will be able to download them for your operating system. So by downloading these drivers and running their executable files, you will be able to install them into your Windows 7 PC. And once this is done, the Xbox One controller should be natively detected. Now, if this doesn't work or if this does work and you want an extra layer of security and so on, all that you have to do is go over to Steam, right click any game that you wish to play using the Xbox controller, go over to Properties, Controller, and then enable Steam Input. Steam Input is something integrated into the Steam Launcher that automatically detects and set up controllers for you, so sometimes this can actually bypass the Windows problems. Go over to the Controller Configurator and change everything that you wish to manage about the controller. I hope I was able to help you on how to connect Xbox One controller to Windows 7. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.